Okay, let's put um Okay, let's go. All right. Control resume. Let's go. Okay, let's play the fried. How many Jeromes? I've gotten only like two or three. Not that many, actually. Am I going to play every single opening? Of course I am. I've played quite a few, not all of them. Uh, or no, actually, I think I have gotten every single one at this point. Jerome was the last one that I got. It was the hardest one. Let's just trade. Let's trade some queens here. Okay, I trade. I can take the pawn. I will just grab it. It's not great, but it's still a pawn. Let's go here. Let's go bishop d2, maybe bishop d3, bishop c3. Sanitation engineer, yes. Uh, because obviously I am a, I'm a sanitation engineer in my spare time. Thank you to Spaceman for the four months. Thank you to Festa Zero One for the two. Thank you to Super Maxi for the three. Thank you to Gilly BC FC for the prime. Thank you to Udo710 for the prime. And thank you to Data Astro for the prime. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. The Aliakin's defense next, maybe. I want to take this diagonal because he, he's trying to feed on Cheeto as bishop, so I don't want to let him do that. Um, so I'm going to go b4 probably. Tick the bishop. Oh, I have e5 to trap the bishop next move. Oh, wow. How do you speak so fast? Um, uh, there's, that, there's that little thing called caffeine. Let's go e5 here. <laughs> I can't I don't know why I did that I'm sorry that was really weird I don't, I don't know why I did that um sorry I, I don't know why I did that that was just weird uh let's go bishop d5 the Ali Atkins defense is a reasonable opening at the club level uh the grand master level it's a, I think it, it is a garbage opening um I mean Levy and I agreed on it by the way we're not talking about like a, if you're 2000 rated you should totally play the Ali Atkins defense it's a great opening just take and go rook d1. But Levy isn't even a GM. Chat, don't be rude to Levy, seriously. I've, I've been over this many times. Levy would be a GM um, if you put in the time and the work. But again, at this point, he's such a successful streamer. He's having a great... He's, I mean, he's making a great career out of this now. And... Um, I'm very happy for him. So, like, acting like he's not even GM, like, that's some kind of huge slam. Like, seriously, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Levy is a Russian IM. He's basically GM. Levy is, uh, Levy grew up in America. So, he's not technically a Russian IM. Okay, let's just trade. Let's go check and mate. Okay, let's go G4. I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the Grob here. Or no, I'm gonna play I'll do a bridge fool's mate. Okay, let's keep going. This is a speed run to 3000, you guys. Let's go Queen E2, maybe F4. I should open F3 G4, yeah, but he had checkmate in two. I don't wanna lose like that. We're gonna get the smiley face structure in a move, I think. Okay, let's just go here. I'm so desperate for the smiley structure that I'm gonna play this. Okay, here comes here it comes, the smiley structure. Here we go. We got the smiley. Let's go to 394. It's not a boat, it's a smile. It's it's a smiley face. A boat needs like the a boat needs like the fifth pawn. I think three and like this, like if you have one, two, three, four, five, this would be the boat. Um, but I think I think with just two and two, it's not it's not a boat. It's not a bathtub. Like this is a pretty small bathtub. Again, the boat and the bathtub, you need one, two, three, and then the extension. Like the two is just like the bathtub just doesn't exist here. It's a pokey ball if I play h6 g5. I yeah, right. Let's go here and just take. Let's 
I'm gonna play a4 here. Let's go a5, kick the queen, maybe c4 at some point. Scotch is a great opening. Um, I love the Scotch. It's what I grew up playing. It was one of my main wide openings. It was the main wide opening as e4, e5. I love, I mean, I, I, I love, uh, I love the Scotch opening. And of course, XCC is playing it too. So it shows just how powerful of an opening it is. Thank you to Lukey Lee for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um, I should have gone 94 right away. What am I smoking? Um, let's just go Rick D1 here. Um, I'm going to go F5 to take the pawn. Would I ever consider streaming less and getting back to focusing on 100% chess? Um, not likely at this point. I'll, I'm going to play professionally still, but there are already there aren't that many terms to play in to begin with. So it's not, you know, it's not like as simple as saying, yeah, just get back to chess. Because when you look at the world of chess tournaments, there aren't that many strong tournaments going on even so. Let's go um, 93, maybe 95, maybe 95. Oh, I just blundered. Oh my God. Whoa, I've actually made a mess out of this. I need to kind of focus. Wait a second, I really made a mess. Right, but chat, here's what I would say. Uh, well, one second. I, I actually really have made a hash out of this. I gotta focus. If I take, I take. I think I just go here. Change the title, I'll change it shortly, just not right now. Uh, that's a mistake. Okay, and I just win. Okay, it's all good. Just make the queen and I win the game. So, like, when, when I talk about tournaments, even so, um, like, let's let's think about tournaments. What are the terms going on? So, this year, there potentially could have been a few terms. Um, what's a bad opening? Uh, let's play the Aliakin's Defense. Um, so, I can play that or Scandinavian. Um, what I was going to say is, if you look at the tournaments I was going to play this year, I was going to play the Grand Chess Tour, which is a series of five events. Uh, do I repeat things in real life, or is it just a stream tactic? It's not a tactic, but I think the thing with streaming is, normally, you have to keep, like, a lot of thoughts going at the same time. Um... Because I, it's just I speak fast. If I was speaking really slowly, like, and I, I didn't, it doesn't, does it's not a big deal. But I, I speak so fast, I'm trying to keep like 20 things in my head at the same time in terms of thoughts. Um, so it's a little bit different, but it's it's not a tactic. That's just when you talk really fast. Um, that's how it goes. <laughs> Let's go knight c6. Okay, I'm gonna take and go knight e5 and hit the juicer on c4. Let's go knight e5 and just castle. You call that fast, right? Um, so as I was saying with the Grand Chester, there, there would have been two rapid events. I mean, I can talk slow. I'll talk very slow, and then I can then I will not repeat myself at all. But yeah, okay. So for example, with the Grand Chess Tour, there were going to be five events. There were going to be two rapid events or three rapid events, lasting about five to six days, and then there were going to be. Um, two classical chess tournaments lasting about two weeks long so that would have been five chess tournaments um that i would have been playing in now i sound like yes or exactly talk slow right so that there would have been five five total events that i'm playing in combined with like the u.s championship and maybe two to three other possible events so there only would have been seven or eight seven or eight chess tournaments that i would have played in the year anyway so like when you guys say you know like would i jump back and focus on class not classical chess but on tournament chess completely there just aren't that many um tournaments period there just aren't that many tournaments for top level chess right now and even so even if you take COVID out of the equation so it's not it's not as simple as that the equation is not that straightforward
So, um, so yeah, that's what I would say is there just, there aren't that many, there aren't that many top level events as is. And it's a problem with professional chess in general, because there aren't that many sponsors. There aren't that many tournaments. So when, so when you get guys say that, uh, I should focus more, it's not that easy. There just aren't the events. Um, which is a problem. That's another reason, like when people talk about like the chess boom, I think e even if this is online and it's even if it's, if it's Twitch specific, there is potential down the road that you could have more sponsors for over the board chess too. Maybe that's wishful thinking. I don't know. I could, that could be wishful thinking. Um, so, so yeah, it's not as simple as that. It's just not as simple. Okay, what can we play? Um, what, what, what are the garbage? What's the garbage? Um, yeah, let's go E4, because they're, they're more E4. There's exchange French. Um, let's try to play a Jerome. Uh, I'm not going to get a Jerome. Now, this, this a lot of people have been playing this H6 pawn, which I don't know why. Let's go here. Maybe Knight G3 next move. I wanted to go knight h5, but it doesn't work. So I'm just going to consolidate my structure here. Let's go here. Yeah, I know this looks like a normal opening. I, I mean, the guy is playing very solid chess. What can I say? I should make a bad boy persona. Y you guys, I can't do that. I mean, I was, I, was, I was quite that kind of person when I was younger anyway. So it's like, I can't do it. I'm gonna go here and king f1 me and bishop d3. Uh, I guess I go here. Oh, I blundered a pawn. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I have this maybe? Okay, this could be an interesting game. I might have to. Okay, how do I do this? I just blundered f2. I guess I go here. Takes, I just block with the queen. This is pretty ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, let's go back actually. I can keep queens on the board with rookie one. Um, okay, let's play the exchange front here. It's gonna, this is gonna be an interesting game and then he blunders five seconds later. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Uh, all these kids think they're good, but they go too fast when they just like, need to like take one second to think, you know, that's one thing I've noticed that's interesting about E versus NA when it comes to chess is that when you look at chess in, in EU, people play a lot less blitz chess. Whereas, um, a lot of the NA kids play a lot of blitz chess. So that is a difference between EU and NA. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, um, uh, but that is one of the huge differences between the two. <laughs> difference in medication okay take the queen i'm gonna take the knight next move um <laughs> okay um Okay, I guess I just take and make a check. I'm just going to take the pawn. Nate Hill is playing rapid chess right now. Is Nate actually playing chess? That's awesome. <coughs> Let's go check.
By the Juco piano, I'm talking very specifically about um, the line with C3D4 at the Grandmaster level being considered bad. Yeah. What is Gucci in this piano? Right. Uh, PogChamp starts on August 21st. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play the Budapest. Oh, I played Bishop F4. I was hoping I wouldn't do it, but I'll play the Budapest Gambit anyway. I still should be able to win at this level. Uh, who's my favorite to win Pog Champs? I don't know. I'm. I think I'm giving a lesson on Monday to Mr. David Pac-Man. Um, so I think I'm giving a lesson to Pac-Man on Monday. Maybe a lesson to um, Scissors at some point too. Um, try to set up a few of them before I head out west. Uh, but I guess what I would say is my favorites right now are probably Half Thor, um, David Pacman, and uh, I would say Half Thor, David Pacman, maybe Hafu. I, I, it's hard for me to tell right now, but I would say I would say those are my two early favorites. Beyond that, I would say. Uh, how do I check with the bishop or the queen? I think I. How do I check with the bishop and take? Um, Hafu definitely has Hafu definitely could uh could 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 win as well. But yeah, I was gonna say Half Thor, David Pac-Man are my two favorites right off. Um after them, there was someone else who I thought was a clear favorite. Uh who was the third there was a third guy. Was it is it Finton? Charlie's not playing. Charlie would be a would be a serious uh, dark horse, I think, if he was playing. Um Dog Dog, Dog Dog and Hafu, I think same category right now. Um, let's go F4 and just take. Oh, Fenton is 1,050 plus. Okay, then Fenton for sure. Uh, Trump SC is way too strong, you guys. So I'll, I'll say, I've said it before, but I'll say it once again. Um, the reason that only one, the, there's a couple things I would say. First of all, when looking at the sort of the breakdown of the last Pog Champs, one of the issues I think with it was uh, Gripex. Gripex also very strong player, very dangerous. Um, but one of the issues I think when you look at the original um when you look at the original Pog champ, it's not really an issue. But the thing is that it was very clear who who was gonna win. It was probably gonna it was almost certainly gonna be either um Hutch or Void Boy who were gonna win the event. Um Let's see, I mm, let's just go here. So so I would say that we knew it was gonna be one of a couple people who would win. So this time around, I, I think it makes more sense that the field be very balanced, as balanced as possible. So that's why uh, they're like Hutch and Void Boy were not invited back. Neither was Force and Force, and of course, very strong as well. But I think down the road there might be that we'll we'll try to do some kind of Champions Edition. Um, uh, let's go check and mate. So like some kind of Champions Edition with like Box Box, um, you know, like Box Box, Void Boy, Hutch, Trump SC. Um, you know, like some some kind of okay. I don't have a good gambit, so I'll play e5. So some kind of champions bracket or something. Did I think Charlie would win the losers bracket? Not at the start, but he put in the improvement that Charlie showed over the course of the event was second only to probably Nim. I would say uh, they were the two most impressive players by by far. I thought in terms of the improvement, Boxbox had a lot of improvement too. Thank you to Lukey Lee with the prime. Thank you to Holy Jew with the prime as well. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Um, they ha they had the biggest overall improvement. Box 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 improved a lot too, but I felt that he was already at a very strong level. Let's go here. Uh, Zelay would yes, Zelay and if Zelay played played Pog champs, he would crush he would crush everybody. Um, like, I mean, Zelay is like twenty one hundred. I mean, Zelay was legit like legit amateur chess player. Zelay versus Levy show match. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. No, I mean, by amateur, I mean 2100. 
Yeah, I mean, okay, like legit, I mean strong, like just strong, just strong, grand, strong. I was about to say grandmaster. Um, yeah. Trump shows Sam back to get into pog champs. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> take yeah 2100 level is expert in chess uh 2200 level would be uh would be master okay what can i play this garbage let's play the scandinavian oh i don't get i don't get to play it unfortunate let's go g4 again Play the fools, mate. Thank you, Tacky on Lance for the prime. Thank you so much. I will play the sodium attack as well when I can. Uh, waiting for the Jerome. I've I've had trouble getting the Jerome. I'm not gonna lie. I've had a lot of trouble getting the Jerome because I, everybody seems to play this H6 early. Let's go F4. Okay, I don't know. What, what is the structure chat? You guys want to tell me what this is? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. This is like the overextended Stonewall Jackson. Just take with the pawn. This is like stonks. Up and down. <laughs> yeah. Let's well, go Knight BD2 here. Um, yeah. It's like stonks. I, I like that one. I like that's good. The overextended Stonewall Jackson. Isn't that why Stonewall Jackson was was didn't have success? What didn't they like over didn't they overextend the line? Let's go 95 here. Let's go ninety three, try to trade some knights here. Well, that and the union had more money. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take with. I think I'm gonna take with this pawn because now his bishop is dead forever, behind my pawn wall. Like this bishop can never come into the game. It's just it, he's got a dead bishop sitting in the corner of the board. Let's <laughs> go king f two here. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna double it, double stack. Oh, that's just a free juicer, so I'll take it. Let's go rook a7 here. I'm gonna go check. He's got to go back, I guess, and I can go like here. I just want to trade the rooks. Okay, let's just take. And I'm just gonna take the pawn here. If he takes, I just take back. If he goes check, I can block. But I want to find some way to give up my. Okay, but that doesn't really do anything. So I can just go check. And again, you guys, as you look at the position, look at these pawns. Bishop is dead. Just can't touch anything here. Just look at this, a dead bishop. So now I can just, I just win the game because the bishop can never come into the game. I can even be nasty and go bishop f8, bishop g7, but I won't. Okay, tries now, but it's just too late. Okay, I'm not even going to let him get the bishop in. No satisfaction here. Okay, resigns. Let's keep going. 
Okay, let's keep playing E4. I'm going to try to get a Jerome again if I can. Oh, let's play Knight E3 here. Let's go C3, maybe Knight C2. Maybe out 4, D4 here coming. Let's go D4. Thank, thank you again, Tachyon. Thank you. Appreciate those, those seven months. Just take D5. I'll go E5. I'm going to go F4, Knight F3 here. Let's go Bishop D3. Um, let me take the knight. Sorry, there was a fly that just got on my nose. Um, just gonna see two here. Um, yeah, there was a fly. Just it landed right on top of my nose. Thank you to empty bottle for the four months. Thank you so much. Appreciate. It. Thank you for the resub. Uh, let's just go back. Man sits in a dumpster, he's surprised by a fly, yeah. Don't worry, there are no flies in California. Yeah, the only problem in California, they're actually spiders, which I, which concern, concern me a lot more. Let's go Bishop D2 and Rook C1 here. Uh, earthquakes, yeah, they're earthquakes. But earthquakes don't concern me at all, as I've already said before. Let's go here, hit the bishop, hit the queen. Thank you, Nick Fournier, for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Jerome Gambit, I had it like two... I had it in two games yesterday. Um, I don't know at what time. I mean, I'm trying to upload the non the non-music version. Um, but it takes forever since the file was like 17, 17 gigs from yesterday. So it might be a while before it's up. Um, but I played it like three times somewhere in the middle, I think. Congrats, Vega. Do you want to? Okay, dude. Like, seriously. Let's go D6 and D5 here. Let's play Queen D5. I hit the queen, I hit the rook, I hit the bishop, so I should be winning here. Just go rook c1, I'm gonna sag and go d7 here. Going for the patented ice skater here. Let's go here. Okay, um, I guess I'll play e5. Okay, I'm gonna play the, uh, try to play Latvian Gambit here. I'm gonna go bishop c5 and knight c6. Maybe knight six first and then bishop c5. Thank you, Kaori Dud. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Now I've got two two bishops. I'm gonna castle or go here and castle. I'm gonna attack right down towards the white king here. Let's just go e4 and I just take. If you here, I just take and take. If here, I don't know. I do something. Uh, let's not be flashy. Let's just go here and pick up the juicer on d2. Um, I guess I just take. Let's go here. I threaten the checkmate. I'm still hitting the juicer on E2. There's something bad is going to happen on the second rank for white. Just take. I threaten the checkmate again. If knight G2, I assume I have some kind of checkmate in here somewhere. Let's go check. If takes, I just checkmate him. Now I go here, I'm throwing checkmate. I cover both squares with the rook. I think this is just checkmate. The king is completely sauced on h1. 
Just take. Go for more checkmates. Still can't move. I'm threatening to mate him. Thank you, Gunner, for the four months. Hey, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Um, takes and mate. Let's keep going. Uh, legendary openings? No legendary. No. No legendary openings. Just bad openings. Garbage, as we like to say. Let's play the Budapest. He ignores the Gambus. So he tries to play positionally. But normally when white plays positionally against the Budapest, you end up in a lot of trouble. I can play a Gant. I can even... Let's take this one step further. Thank you to Remy Stir for the four months. Thank you so much. I, this is probably terrible, but it looks very exciting. Whoa. Um... I'm just gonna go f5 and maybe queen h4 this I should have gone queen h4 right right away but I do it now I threaten checkmate oh this is so beautiful oh the Budapest is the most beautiful opening of all time oh that is so beautiful queen f4 is just checkmate the king gets stuck on e3 let's go e5 let's go f5 here okay now queen f6 of course let's go d6 here so I just take and go queen g6 here. Yeah, that was like a Budapest combined with a... Um, <laughs> that was a Budapest combined with like a Jerome Gambit kind of thing. <laughs> just take. And I move the queen and move the knight. Okay, queen e2, interesting. I'm going to go back and play knight f6 here. Why is it called the Budapest? Because I think the opening was invented in... Oh, I could have taken the knight! <sighs> Go F5. Thank you, Link to the Patreon for the Prime Data Rapid, rapid Synapse for 3. Thank you to Remy Sture again for the 4 months. Appreciate it. I am half Asian, half, uh, half like European, basically. Let's go here and just trade. Is 25 tools display the game want to reach 2000 someday? Yeah, probably it is objectively. Um, you're talking over the board. If you're talking online, it might be possible though. I would say if you're, if, if you're starting and you want to be really good at it, um, and you're on the older side, I would aim for about, you're just starting probably about like 16, 1700 is what I would aim for. Let's just take. Cause it's one of those things where it's just like, there's certain, the patterns, all that stuff, the recognition. It's like, as a kid, you just pick it up. Like, Kids' brains are better than adult brains, honestly. They just, they, whatever it is, like, they just, they pick up information. They're just smarter than us. Um, but again, you guys, it's not about being a pro chess player or any of that. It's just about having fun, playing the game, enjoying it. It's, it's not about being a grandmaster. My kid isn't smarter than me. <laughs> Um, no, but it's just true. I mean, kids, they're, they just, they just, they pick up stuff in their brains. It's just how it is. Plasticity or elasticity or I, I don't know what the word is, but yeah. I wasted all my elasticity on Call of Duty. True, 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 true dat. Um, I'm just going to play H5 here. My son is 18 months old. When should I start teaching him the game? Um, I would say that in general, it, a lot depends on technology. I mean, I, I don't. Every, everyone's different, obviously, when it comes to parenting and that sort of stuff. But if your if your children are going to be using like iPads and, and all those learning tools at like three or four, I would say like around four to five is where I would recommend that they they could uh, where you could teach them. Let's go F4. I'm gonna go E3 here. Like, I don't know, because it's, like, so different. Now it's, like, kids at, like, three years old are using iPads, I think. So, I would say, like, four. I would say four. I would say four years old. Four to, four, four, four to five. If Four to five. Generally, though. My niece is two and she can browse. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think now, like, with... with 
I think I think kids younger and younger they use iPads and it's just like it's something I can't I mean I just can't understand because like I I, I, didn't, I didn't have technology until I was like nine I think the first computer my parents had would have been around like 96 when we connected to AOL so it would have been like 96 ish ish and um like yeah cell phones didn't even exist back then it was just like pagers Let's just take. A boomer. I'm a boomer, yeah. AOL. It's where you get the five stages of the screen. I mean, you get the like, and it's connecting, and then like, you're connected. You have mail. Okay, let's keep going. Um, okay, let's play. Uh, well, I still want a Jerome Gambit. I can't get a Jerome. I'm, I keep trying to get the Jerome. Okay, let's play Queen H5 then. First, I don't expect to lose until I'm like 2400. The dial-up sound, yes. Yeah. I can't do it, but anyway, yeah. Let's go here, I guess. Maybe A3 and B4 here. Windows XP is literally the worst program ever invented. Oh my God. Or no, sorry. That's Windows M. That's ME. Sorry, not XP. Wrong one. Yeah, ME is literally the worst, worst program ever. ME just, oh my gosh. You know, XP is fine. I was thinking of Emmy. Emmy was, oh my God. Don't even remind me about Emmy. Literally the worst, worst OS of all time. Yeah, I mean, I think, is that what it's called? Is it worst, let me see, worst OS ever. Yeah, Windows Emmy is considered one of the worst operating systems of all time. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No, XP was fine, but Emmy was horrendous. castle here but my personal favorite will always be windows 95 Let's just play nike 2 king h1 and rook g1 and g4 here let's go f5 and g4 um <laughs> he's in the dumpster he lost <laughs> that's a good one that's a good one let's go here knight f193 i guess Uh, thank you to Sololomon for the four months. Big, big love from Scotland. Big shout out to you. Wherever you are, whether you're in Glasgow, Edinburgh, whether you're like way up north in Isle of Skye. Hope you're doing well. Um, hope all's good in Scotland. Let's take, I can take on E5, of course. Um, just take the pawn or go knight C6 next move. Um, thank you to Sandstream Pop for the tier one. Oh, is TTS off? I think TTS is off, so I'll... I'll um, uh, I asked you a while ago, but you forgot to answer the stream. Anyway, what are your thoughts about the play Magnus app? Will you play it at some point? Love the streams. Keep it up. I mean, it's just like playing Stockfish at some level. So, um, I mean, I, I don't really see the point. Let's go to IC6. I'm just going to trade for the bishop. No, no, I will lose a game, you guys. I will definitely lose a game. Because this is, this is going to 3,000. This isn't like going to 2,500 or something. Let's go E5. But yeah, Windows ME was just so bad. Man, I remember it now. I think Windows 95 was, was probably, I mean, let me just. What was before that? Was it, was, was it 3.1 that was before, um, before Windows 95? It was 3.1, right? Yeah, 3.1. Yeah, I actually, I, th I think my father had a computer that had uh, had 3.1 on it. Just take the pawn here. But 95 was obviously the goat. Takes queen d3 is winning. If king h7, I just trade and take the rook on a8. Pretty clean tactic here, so I just trade and I just take the rook. Let's go rook f8. Oh, I can just go here and win the juicer on a5. The run will take a while. It'll probably take around 22 hours total. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop every so often, but it'll take around 22 hours total time.
your opponent has disconnected and the game will auto resign in 24 seconds yeah windows 95 i played chess master i think that was the only game that i really played what else was there on windows 95 um besides the obvious like minesweeper solitaire what other games were there on windows 95 Pinball was not on Windows 9. Pinball was on Windows 98, I thought. Oh, oh, free, Freestyle or Free Ski or whatever it was called. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one I remember too, yeah. Old stuff, old stuff. Ski Free, oh my gosh. I should, fi I should find Ski Free and play that again at some point.